What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and in this video we are going to be ranking all 10 of the 120% leads in order of how hard they can hit. But before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy RallerZZ from the Dokkan subreddit for performing all the necessary calculations to make this video possible and also as a quick disclaimer, all of these units are considered on their best possible category teams at the moment, but in the future, if some of them get better categories or better leaders with higher attack boosts, then the rankings could very well change. And lastly, of course, I have a lot of faith in my boy Rattler, but keep in mind he is a human after all, so there is a possibility that this list is only 99% accurate and not 100% accurate, but either way, I feel like it's a very good representation of the damage output potential of each of these leads and I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this video. But with all that said, why don't we jump right into it starting with number 10 on the list with an average attack of 1,741,342, we have AGL Super 17. His team is androids with a 170% attack boost and his only link considered active is Fierce Battle with a 100% uptime. Now to be fair, to his credit, Super 17 is actually a very good tank. He is one of, if not the best tank out of all the 120 leads, and he's very useful in certain modes like Super Battle Road, where you need a good tank who can also deal a decent amount of damage. But the issue with him is that he starts off the fight with 0% attack on his passive, and he only reaches his max damage output potential after receiving 4 hits, which could take a while, and even at that point, he's still a bit lacking compared to the other 120 leads. He also doesn't have a lot of attack links. The only ones he has are Android Assault and Fierce Battle, and anybody you're going to be running on the Androids team regularly will not have Android Assault, so really his only attack link is Fierce Battle. So for all those reasons, Super 17 comes in at dead last number 10 on this list. And uh, honestly, I feel like he still gets a lot more hate than he deserves. He's a good tank. He deals decent damage and is overall a pretty solid unit. Moving on to number 9 on the list, we have STR Super Janemba with an average attack of 2,239,191. His team is movie bosses with a 170% attack boost and his links are Fierce Battle with a 100% uptime, Nightmare with a 100% uptime, and Brutal Beatdown with a 33% uptime. Now, just like Super 17, Janemba is an excellent tank guarding against all attacks with a 30% chance to dodge all attacks as well. The only issue with him is that he only gets an 80% attack boost on his passive, which is quite a bit lower than pretty much every other unit on this list. And that's why he comes in at number 9 on the list. In number 8, we have our first super type, 120 lead, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, with an average attack of 2,915,000. 147. The team he's considered on is Shadow Dragon Saga with a 150% attack boost. It should be the exact same for Pure Saiyans as well. And his links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, and Fierce Battle, most likely linked with full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, there's not really much to say about Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. He's a very, very good unit, solid damage output, solid tank, and that 30% chance to dodge and counter supers can be super clutch and save your ass on a lot of events. Overall, he's just a great unit, and even though he's only number 8 on this list, the difference between number 8 and number 4 really isn't that huge. Now at number 7, with an average attack of 2,997,479, we have Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. His team is Super Saiyan 3 with a 170% attack boost, and his attack links considered active here are Super Saiyan, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle, all with 100% uptimes. Now this guy, in theory, can get up to a 220% attack boost on his passive, which is one of the highest of all the 120 leads. He starts off with a 120% attack boost on his passive, and then gets an additional 20% for every Rainbow Key Sphere obtained, up to 5. So you combine those, that's 220%, but on average, you're only going to be able to get about 1 or 2 per turn for him, which can still make him hit quite hard. And he also has a 10% chance to stun the enemy on his super, which can be pretty clutch, even though it doesn't proc as often as you would like it, in my experience. And he's also not the greatest tank, he really can't tank at all, but with that being said, he's still a much better tank than the next guy on the list in number 6, with an average attack of 3,052,086. We have the infamous Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly. 
His team, again, is Super Saiyan 3, just like the previous guy. And his links are Super Saiyan, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle, all with 100% uptimes. Now, Broly, um, <laughs> what can I say? I feel like he was a very, very poorly designed card. Of course, his damage output is good, but he is just the worst tank, guys. For anyone that doesn't know what he does, he initially starts with a 100% attack boost on his passive, and then also gains an additional 12% attack for every key sphere obtained, which is amazing considering he already has that 100% base. But he also loses 10% defense for every key sphere obtained. So if you get 10 that turn, he's gonna have zero defense. And while he does do a fair amount of damage, as you can see, he's number six on the list, I don't think the damage output really makes up for the lost defense because you can't run him on any event where the enemy is hitting hard and he can literally be your demise if you can't hide him from attacks. So, I mean, look, if you're gonna make him have such a hurtful effect, like an effect that hurts him so much as a unit, at least make him the hardest 120% lead. But no, he's only number six on the list. The number one guy hits quite a bit harder than him and his passive doesn't hurt him nearly as much. So I don't really know what they were thinking when they made Super Saiyan 3 Broly, but this guy is definitely in need of an upgrade. I mean, from a purely nuking and damage output perspective, He's very good, but that defense thing really sucks. Anyways, we still have half the list to go, and I think the next unit on this list is going to surprise quite a few people. So, coming in at 5th place, with an average attack of 3,067,389, we have the Int Kid Boo. His category considered here is Transformation Boost, with a 150% attack boost, and his links are Fierce Battle, The Wall Standing Tall, Majin, and... Brutal Beatdown, all with a 100% uptime. Now, I know what some people are thinking. Why don't you put him on a Resurrected Warriors team where he gets a 170% attack boost instead? And the main reason for it is because he doesn't have a lot of great linking partners on that team. His best linking partner is the Tech Boo. And let's be honest, he's not a great unit, so you're not really going to be bringing him unless you're bringing him specifically for the Int Kid Boo. So it makes a lot more sense to put him on the Transformation Boost team where he is an amazing partner or the STR Super Boo, who's the leader of that category. So anyways, Int Kid Boo is a very good 120 lead, in my opinion. I feel like he doesn't get nearly as much love as he deserves, and the main reason for it is because he does not have any key links. That's another thing that baffles me. Similar to the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, I don't really understand the design of these cards. I mean, Kid Boo, by all other means, is such a fantastic unit. He gives you 12% healing every single turn, which is awesome. He hits extremely hard. He has a lot of attack links. And he's overall a great unit. If they gave him just one key link, he would be so much better. But alas, uh, they screwed him over. He has no attack links. Or sorry, he has a lot of attack links, but no key links. But either way, if you guys give him some decent key support, like some good support units around him, he's going to do some really really good stuff for you. And now, for the final extreme 120 lead on this list, who also happens to be my personal favorite 120 lead, coming in at 4th place with an average attack of 3,154,015, we have Physical Final Form Cooler. This team is most malevolent clan, 170% attack, links, thirst for conquest, fierce battle, and universe's most malevolent, all with 100% uptimes. Final Form Cooler, is just absolutely amazing guys and i've been saying this for a long time now he's an awesome unit he does a lot of damage he can super up to three times per turn he tanks very well and uh just a great unit there's not much else to say about it final form cooler the best extreme 120 lead as far as damage output goes and also in my opinion just overall as far as the extreme 120 leads go he's the best overall so there you have it guys final form cooler at number four okay now we're down to the final three, and this could get a little bit controversial for a few people, but categories actually play a lot into this. So, starting at number three, with an average attack of 3,620,364, we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku. On a pure Saiyan theme, 150% attack boost, and links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, and Fierce Battle. So Super Saiyan 4 Goku, it's very hard. I think that's pretty obvious, and he can also tank quite well after you get a few supers off, he also has those super clutch dodge and counters just like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And the thing with Super Saiyan 4 Goku is that unfortunately you can't put him on a 170% attack boost team right now. Of course there's Goku's lineage, 
but the leader of that team is LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, so you can never run them together, unfortunately. So right now he's stuck with 150%, which is why he's third on the list. If he was on a 170% team, there's no question he would be the hardest hitting unit on this list for sure. Number two though, with an average attack of 3,669,574, we have Int Super Gogeta. On a Fusions team, 170% attack, and links considered active here are Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, and Experienced Fighters, all with 100% uptime. We all know Int Gogeta is an absolute beast. He can output crazy amounts of damage, mainly thanks to his attacks effective against all types mechanic, which means that no matter what type you're fighting, even if it's type disadvantage, he's still gonna do a lot of damage. So yeah, Gogeta's awesome. But number one on the list now, moving right along, with an average attack of 3,747,062. Hope you guys don't hate me for this, but it is what the numbers say. We have Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks on a Super Saiyan 3 team. Now this is important because on a Fusions team, Super Gogeta is actually better than Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks because Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks has a very hard time of getting his 11 key super off. But it's a different story on a Super Saiyan 3 team because Go Tanks actually can get his 11 key off a lot more regularly. And with his 11 key, this guy, no question, will hit harder than Int Gogeta. So that's why he is number one on this list. And even though he is not a good tank at all, I mean, neither of these guys really are, but Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks actually decreases his own defense on his passive for the extra attack. Um, you gotta, you know, it's a give and take, right? It's a give and take. But either way, he hits the hardest of all the 120 leads on this list. And of course, like I said, in the future, this could change because different units might get different categories, might get better leaders, and so on and so forth. If Pure Saiyans, for example, gets a 170 lead in the future, then this list could look very different. But for the time being, it's gonna be Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks at number one, Super Gogeta at number two, Super Saiyan 4 Goku at number three, and so on and so forth. And that's gonna do it for today's top 10, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below, who is your favorite Super 120 lead? Who's your favorite Extreme 120 lead? And who's your favorite overall 120 lead? For me personally, like I said, Physical Final Form Cooler is my favorite 120 lead out of all of them. All right, so that's all from me. As always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.